everyone, it's Holly from Journal with Dolly and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a blank journal flip through with you um, in terms of all of the books that I have got that I have not yet filled but also um, you're going to get kind of like a little, not sneak peek, but kind of um, a little flip through of some other projects that I've been working on because I'm going to include them in that because not many pages of them have been filled so first of all I'm going to do all of the blank journals um, and explain about those and then I'm going to go on to the ones which are sort of half filled um, and you can have a look at those as well also major apologies for this nail disaster that happened um, I did my nails because I was like I'm going to go and film and I always like doing my nails before I go on to film and yeah I got over excited went and try and do stuff and then they all messed up even though I've only just done them so I'm kind of angry about that but ignore the nails I know that the effort was there <laughs> um, also new filming set up here I'm actually really liking what this looks like um, in terms of the sort of space that I've got here and then this gorgeous background this, I'm actually in my front room um, and you're on the, my new stand that I've bought so if you like this new set please let me know it might be a little bit noisy just because um, I'm filming this at half past seven on an evening and it does get quite noisy because I'm on a main road in the middle of the city so if it does get a little bit noisy at least we know for next time but I thought it'd be fun to film here and if it works out then maybe this will be my new spot because like I say I think it looks very good the lighting's good and everything else yeah so let's get started so I asked on Instagram if you wanted to see all my blank journals and the overwhelming response was yes I think it was 60 yes to maybe about 10 no, so sorry there's 10 people, but here we are. Uh, so the first one that I've got is this, it says notes and lists, and I think this one is from The Works, I believe. Um, now, I originally bought this in this shape because I wanted it for budgeting. Uh, well, that didn't go very well. Um, as you can see, I didn't do one page in it. <laughs> Um, the paper is kind of like this yellow colour and it's got these little bike motifs on um, and I'm not really bothered about these sorts of things if it's about a serious journal in terms of like budgeting or something like that little bits like that wouldn't bother me if this was on a big journal then that would bother me quite a lot so I would probably not use it but I haven't used it anyway so yeah if anyone wants this by the way if I say on want any of these journals like if you want it uh, just give me a message on in Instagram. It's that journal with Dolly. It's the same as on here. Hit me up and um, I'll have a chat with you about getting one out to you because I'm never going to use this. So if anybody wants to have a go at budgeting or whatever, or whatever you can think, make it a bullet journal or something, then let me know and this could be yours. It's got a lovely hard cover, by the way, and it's like puffy a little bit. It is really, really cute. I'm just not ever going to use it. So yeah, there's number one. Number two is this one. And this is one that my boyfriend got me from Spain when he was on holiday. And I really love this because the paper is really good quality. It's really thick blank paper and it's actually got um, a pocket in the back as well. But I just don't know what to use this for. Um, we were initially gonna use it as a date night book and writing it all of the restaurants that we wanted to try out and stuff and I might go back to that because I think it's quite a cute idea um, but I don't know we just never I just never got around to using it and I don't actually know what this is so I'm guessing it's something something about booze <laughs> I've actually got no idea so if you speak Spanish let me know what it says. Um, I would love to know. I could Google Translate it, but effort in it. Please just someone tell me. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is this one. And again, quite a nice puffy cover. I'm not going to be getting rid of this one because I will try and use it somehow. I might use it as a travel journal. It's quite small. But I'm trying to use a Furbanichi for travel journaling, so... Ah, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love this one. So this one's not up for grabs but if you've got any ideas of what I could use it for or if you think I should use it as 
the date night journal idea, then let me know because me and Will do go out for food quite a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably know that, or Facebook even, uh, then you'll know that I go out quite a lot. <laughs> so this could probably be quite a good idea for that. Next up we've got this one, which I oh, just love this so much. I bought this on a total whim from Paper Chase uh, the other week and oh, I just love it. I think it's so cute. It's got this gorgeous grid green paper. I don't know if that's coming up on the camera very well. There you go. Very, very faint grid pattern, but um, yeah, I think it's really, really nice. Um, it's super, super cute. I was going to try this out to be my Furbinici in the next, when my Furbinici is full, I was going to take this on holiday with me and do my Furbinici in it on a holiday um, and just kind of make it a Furbinici and a travel journal all at once and then move into another Furbinici in terms of like another notebook when I get back because I'm going to be going for quite a long time but then that's putting pressure on myself to do loads of journaling again on holiday and that didn't end very well last time because I got a full new notebook for that last time and I just didn't fill it. I didn't even get up to when I was at the actual festival. I just did all the interrailing bit. And then, well, I didn't even do that. I got up to Vienna and then after that, I just didn't do it. So I don't know if I want to, what I want to do yet with this. If you've got any ideas of what I can use this for, then let me know. This one, again, is not up for grabs because I love it too much. Um, I think it's just too funky. And it was only £3 from Paper Chase, so that's pretty good. And I do love Traveller's Notebooks. I've used one before and I think they are they are nice, but I know that some people might find them a little bit too small or whatever, but I think they're really, really cute. Then I've got these three, which I got from Primark as a set. Now Primark, for those of you who don't know, is a really cheap, clothes shop uh, in the UK and they started they've started to do stationery and these were meant to be £1.50 for all three I got to the till and they were reduced to 50p for all three so for like what 17 pence each pretty good um, I've got this one it says you glow girl and it is lined paper and do you know what the quality of this paper is pretty good um, it's quite nice um, I've got this one, You Do You Babe, and it's all about female empowerment, yay! Um, and this is blank paper, and again, pretty nice quality. And then I've got this one, which is just plain leopard print, and this one is also lined. Um, probably going to give away the leopard print one. I do like leopard print, but I don't know. I might decorate it with some washi or something, um, but I love these two. But then this one's blank and I don't ever really use blank journals. So again, if you can think of a reason for me to use these, please let me know. And if you want this one, then just send me a message again on Instagram and I'll shoot you it over. But um, I just think these are really, really cute. I mean, for 50p for all three, can you go wrong? They're just good to have a little, um, a little journal, you know, to use if you ever need one. That's why I bought that. This one is also from Paper Chase, like the um, little traveller's notebook. And I bought this when I was at uni. Um, as you can see, see, it says Paper Chase, like embossed in the back. And it's a cardboard front and a cardboard back. The paper is lovely and it's got this gorgeous, um, these really nice like lines. I can't remember what the word is. Margin, the, the margin's really, really nice. Um, and it's the cool cat A to Z, so it's got different types of cats on it um, by their, you know, in, in their name. I like the white one best, with that little, the little crown on, how cute is that? I just love the illustration on this, but it's spiral bound, why is it spiral bound? Um, I... Ah, oh, I get so annoyed with spiral bound, oh, I've gone out, sorry. Um, I just get so annoyed with spiral bound notebooks because they don't hold up well enough for me. And again, I don't know what to use this for because, I don't know, I, I love it so much, but it's just, I just hate spiral bound notebooks. I even hated spiral bound when I bought this. I just got it because I love the front cover. If this was a poster 
or a, or a postcard, then I'd have used it and not been bothered, but it, uh, just hate that. I just don't want to use it for. So again, if anyone thinks of anything, let me know. This one's not for grabs because I just love that front cover so much. It's just so gorgeous. I love cat things. Like I said in one of my other videos, I'm a dog person, but I love cats. Talking of dogs, this is one I've had in my stash for a really long time. Uh, pugs, not drugs. As you can see, it did get overexcited. I've got nail polish on that. Let's get that off. Um, this one, I haven't used for a number of reasons. So I managed to break the spine eventually. So it is flat now. Um, but, like, I don't like the lines. They're so thin. Like, my writing is massive. It would just absolutely obliterate this. Um, and I don't like this little motif on each page, which I've mentioned to you before. Um, before, um, this was... Um, <laughs> I can't think. I got up at 6 o'clock today, guys, for work. I'm honestly... Starting at six just absolutely blags my brain. Like, I can't think of things. I've even had a nap for an hour and a half when I got in from work and I still can't think. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I tried to use this notebook. I've ripped out a couple of front pages, which you can probably tell here. Um, and I've just, I don't know. I don't know what to use this for. I don't want to get rid of it because my mum bought me it um, a few years ago. And it's also by Pickle Parade, which is... Um, the same as what that little cat is this is a really famous meme if anyone's seen it it's got the little cat in a t-shirt and when you pull the the, in, oh. the cat is in a pocket on the t-shirt and when you pull the pocket down the little cat's like doing the middle finger up at you um, and it's a really really famous t-shirt that very in at the moment so i don't want to get rid of it because these these are quite expensive notebooks and I do love it I just don't know what to use it for with that bloody thing in the corner and the lines are just so thin ah! so again if you've got any ideas on what I can use pugs not drugs for then let me know because look how cute the little pug is oh he's so cute I just love it it might be blank forever you know who knows uh, this is another blank one I've got this is really boring it's literally just a um, it's a sketchbook and it's just blue um, sugar paper on the front and then just white paper in the middle and the white paper is actually it's an okay quality but you can see your fingers through it so that tells a lot to me if you want this let me know it's A4 so it's quite big um, and for Americans that don't use the A4 A5 size how do you measure your paper like what are you going on like I don't understand that. I, I I know that you use um like five by twelve and all that kind of stuff. Like what does that mean? Just say A4. A4 is normal writing size. A5 is like this size. Um and then A3 is like massive. And this is A2. So that's how you know the difference. If you hear British people talking about sizes of journals, then that's what they are. Um, so yeah, this is A4, so if anyone wants this, it's a bit big for me, so... And it's obviously for drawing and stuff, so let me know. Then I got this absolute mother, which is humongous. I mean, look, you can even see my phone on there. <laughs> um, this was from Will's mum, because she didn't know what to use it for. She won it. And to be honest, I don't know what to use it for either. Like, look at this. It's absolutely huge and it's like, you can lay it down but it's very very puffy and that's without anything in it so I dread to think what this it'd be like this if I finished with it and um, I'll happily send this out to somebody if you would like it however they have to be in the UK because absolutely no way am I sending this absolute mother over overseas it's not happening so if you're in the UK and you want this, so Scotland, Wales or England, please let me know and I will send this out to you. Um, it's really nice. I mean, it is gorgeous, this notebook, don't get me wrong. It's embroidered. All this is cloth 
it's really really pretty and then these are all obviously gilded pages the paper's really good quality it's a little bit shiny but it's really really thick um, you can see my fingers through it but it's really really good quality you can feel it when you're moving it and um, and it's got this gorgeous gilt on the side so it's a lovely journal I just don't know what I'm going to use one of this size for because mine just get too chunky when I'm finished with it you know so now what I've got for you is I've got a few journals which I've started um, and then I'm going to show you some projects that I am doing at the moment which I wanted to share with you for quite a while um, but I just I just haven't shown you yet um, so the first one is this one this is so pretty this is from um, a friend it was originally from Paper Chase but what is it that I'm not going to like about it guys this bloody ring bound I just do not like ring bound at all now to try and get into this I started doing a little bit of decoration this was a couple of years ago now that I started this um, and that is literally it so if you want this journal let me know I will happily send it to you um, I would ask if I'm posting this overseas do you know what the same with this one if you want either of these because they're quite big this one's really chunky as you can see if you want either of these and you're overseas just send me your pay I'll send you my PayPal and you can send me the money for the postage so get in touch with me via Facebook um, or Instagram and I'll send you my PayPal address and you can send me the money that it'll cost for postage just because it's gonna cost too much if you live in the UK I will happily just send you these no problem I I don't mind doing that um, but yeah it will cost me a fortune <laughs> otherwise so yeah this is a gorgeous journal it's got really nice lines a little bit thick for me and I don't know about these things at the top and the bottom of the page like why is that a thing a lot of paper chase notebooks do that and I don't really understand the reason behind that so whatever but yeah if you like this then let me know but again spiral bound it is not for me I don't know I just don't like it and um, this is another one that I started this says journal on the front it's hardback I got this from a shop in Hornsey which is where my nan and granddad used to live um, and they don't live there anymore obviously um, and it's I got this before I went to university and it's got a little pen loop on here and what I did was I wanted to make it a University of Lincoln sort of scrapbook so here was my room when I first moved in and I think it's got people's yeah it's got photos in it so I'm not going to show you that because I don't know if obviously they want to see that um, but that's all I did how pathetic is that <laughs> I don't think I got past moving day <laughs> but I love this it says day and date at the time I dig that I love that I think it's really really nice the paper's gorgeous it's like off-white kind of yellowy with these little dotted lines Um oh sorry I've just moved you I honestly I really do love this notebook and um, but I don't ever want to take out the this bit I don't ever want to like rip it out I feel bad ripping it out so I don't know I could rip it out and just stick it in my current journal and be like I'm gonna start using this again for something but I don't know I'm gonna hold on to it just to see if if I do use it for anything then there's this one and this one I got actually from the card factory which for people in the UK they're all like what um, it's made by paper leaf card factory is a card shop and like a gift shop but it's super cheap like you can get cards for 30p like birthday cards for 30p there um, and they had these notebooks and I just thought they were super nice um, and I tried to make this what did I try to I don't know what it is. It, I think I've just tried to make it a planning book. So I've done some um, paper here. Um, I stuck this in from a storybook. Um, I did this bit of writing, calligraphy kind of thing going on. 
um, and then I decorated a couple more pages and again that's it so look at that three pages that's all I've done in this so this is empty as well the paper's really good quality um, quite thin lines which aren't my jam again but it's got a pocket in the back so you could easily use this as a journal 100% it was only 99p and they're absolutely fab um, it looks like a loitch term I think but yeah it's lovely so again if you want this let me know I'll send this one overseas it's thin enough um, and you can choose if you want me to keep in the Cinderella stuff at the beginning or if you want me to rip that out entirely up to you um, but this one is up for grabs if you would like it then there's this one which I do not remember where I got this from I've had this one years and years and years and um, for those of you who don't know Audrey Hepburn is my absolute favorite person ever she is gorgeous I'm named after Holly Girl Lightly uh, from Braxton and Tiffany's and another person that I really really love is Marilyn Monroe so I'm all about my golden age girls freaking love anything like that so this book was gonna be my ranting book <laughs> and kind of a bit of everything going on um, I can actually cross quite a lot of these off now because I have been to a lot of these places um, but this is what this was going to be I was going to do all different things in it I had really good intentions for this um, and I've started doing this actually this kind of thing in my new Beatles book which I'm not going to show you because it's not an empty notebook I don't count it as an empty notebook um, and and yeah I, I don't know that was my old address by the way so don't worry um, I just never ever finished with it and I don't know why because it's gorgeous but yeah that was a rant about being a vegan by the way I'm not a vegan that was what this was about um, but yeah so I'm gonna hold on to this and see if the creative spark ever comes back again for me to try and fill this up I don't know if I will who knows um, next up is this baby it's massive this is from um, paper chase again and my friend bought me this when I went to Bangladesh so I did start this um, I did start sticking things in in this like my goodbye card from my friend um, and my training that I went on and my tickets and stuff so I did start this but I never actually got up to the bit when I got to Bangladesh <laughs> So I probably should go back and fill this in because I've got all that stuff that I showed you in another video from um, Bangladesh that I need to put somewhere and I was debating doing a junk journal and then I remembered that I've got this bad boy so I might put it all in here I don't know but this is a proper scrapbook it's not really a journal um, it's, a, it's a massive scrapbook really I guess but it's gorgeous isn't it it's so nice so yeah, I don't know. I might go back and put my Bangladesh stuff in there. I'm thinking about doing a video solely about Bangladesh, by the way. If anyone think, if anyone would like to see that, I'm going to do it like a vlog style video. Um, not vlog. What am I talking about? Like, um, yeah, I guess it would be a vlog actually. Kind of just me talking to the camera about my experiences, what I did there, how the culture shock was, uh, who I went with, blah 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 blah. Just a little bit about my experiences of going because hands down it was the best thing I've ever done in my life so if anyone's interested in hearing about my four months in Bangladesh then I'm more than happy to talk about it I get told off talking about it too much so it might be quite nice to speak to someone who's interested in it for once um, this is another one that I've got it's this lovely pony party notebook I remember buying this this is also from paper chase um, and I bought this again at uni and it was on a total whim and it was quite expensive considering I was at university but I just loved it because it has all these different colour pages so all of the edges have different colours and I think it's really cute but look that annoying margin thing again in what is it with paper chairs and doing that but then at the front I've got all of my um, all of my notes from you know doing uni stuff so I don't know if to again rip this out and then um, use it again I don't know but 
I haven't used this since since uni. You know, that's it. That's all that's in it. Very, very short amount of time at the front. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you do? Do you rip things out of notebooks that you've started and keep them somewhere? Or, you know, keep the bits from the inside somewhere? Or do you just chuck them out? Or, like, what do you do with them? Because I would like to use these again, but I don't know what for. Like, I don't know if to rip the stuff out or not. So, the next four books I'm going to show you, these last four, these are a little bit of a treat that you see in these, really, because... Um, these are all things that I'm going to be doing videos about in the future. I accept this one, this one I'm not. So this one is an Argenzio notebook. These are exactly the same notebook that I use for my creative journaling. This is just in a different colour. Um, it's from Paper Chase, they're about £15. Um, they've got lined paper but my ones I use in my creative journal are dotted. And for some reason they only ever do the dotted in black. So that's really, really annoying. Um, and this was my food diary when I tried to do Slimming World last year. Um, so I went crazy at Slimming World and tried to do it. And then I just wrote down everything that I ate and, you know, all that kind of thing. And yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I just fell off it. I just fell off the bandwagon of doing it and I really shouldn't, I should try and give it another go but I start these things and I'm really really crazy about it and then I'm just like nah, I can't be bothered. <laughs> um, so yeah, I probably should try this again because I do want to lose a bit of weight but this is why I keep this and I don't ever um, take the things out of this because I've got my mood board here, my target weight, I don't mind you seeing that, that doesn't bother me. Um, and then all of this kind of stuff. So I thought if I ever go back or if I ever want to just document what I'm eating, then I can just use this again um, because it was a really expensive notebook. And I bought a really expensive one so that if I ever want to um, go, you know, if I... Uh, can you tell that I've been at work for 13 hours? Um, <laughs> um, oh, my God. Um... I bought this because <laughs> because I thought if I got a, a more expensive notebook then I basically would be more inclined to do it. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. In this case it worked for about three weeks and then it didn't work anymore. Um, but <laughs> I'm going to keep it like I say and just see if I ever do get back into my groove with healthy eating and dieting and all that kind of thing. The next book I've got for you is my font book. This is a little groovy, um, ha um, what's the word? I don't know what the word is. Do you know what, I'm just gonna give up today. Um, it's basically uh, hol holographic, yay! It's a holographic notebook that somebody lovely sent me a couple of years ago because I wanted to try out dotted pages. But the book that I thought this was a lot bigger and there's no chance that I'd ever use a book this small to do bullet journaling at the time so I made it into Holly's font book instead um, I just put a clip in a miffy there did some stuff and um, did my normal handwriting a little bit of a collage some different fonts here um, you know in different ways and when I get time I will do some more but obviously I'm not going to do a flip through of this because that was the flip through very small, very short, very, you know, that's what it is. So this is something that I do use, but I'm including it in this because obviously it's pretty much empty apart from the first few pages. Um, now I bought this from HomeSense just because I thought it was so quirky. Um, it's made in India and it's got this really nice spine and the paper in it is like no paper I've ever seen before. It's super thin, but it's so thick and gorgeous at the same time. It's very strange. Um, and it says, Castles in the Air, um, writing journal. If you can see the writing journal bit there. Um, and what I did was, it's got this big pocket in the front as well. I'm gonna move the candle out of the way for this. And I made it into a washi sample book. So it was all color coded at first, but obviously I've got new washies. 
that has not stayed like that. <laughs> and I've got so many more washi tape to add to this um, now. And my aim is to fill this entire book, and when I fill it up, you can get a flip through. But the amount of washi tape I've got now, it probably wouldn't take me that long to actually fill it up. Um, so that's my washi tape book. And the final one that I wanted to show you is this. Now, this is a um, Sea uh, White of Brighton uh, sketchbook. These are really good value. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful. They're hardback, they look pretty good. Um, and basically, they're really, really good paper as well because it's 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 a sketchbook, not a journal, really. Um, really good, thick watercolour paper in here and um, there is a pocket at the back and then I do do a little bit of art journaling and I will just quickly run through this with you so the first bit I did was be a flower that blooms and I watercoloured these and went over them in black gel pen uh, this was all about girls girls rule together so I did lots of like girly stuff this is a pocket that I made thought I might put something in there but I don't know um, just again pretty picture I made <laughs> and this says here come the girls happy days be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons um, and had these really cute cutouts so I stuck them in and then this one says if you only saw yourself through kind eyes and then I thought this was really funny. I stuck this picture of an ice cream in and then I read what it says in the corner and it actually says um, melting ice cream is the last of your worries and I just thought that just matches so well with this like kind of about depression and things like that um, and then this one's a bit more groovy it kind of looks like a holiday thing this was a sticker bomb that I did, loads of different stickers, stickers that I wasn't going to be using for anything else. This was before I started my Furbinichi, so I had all these different random stickers that I just wasn't using for anything. So I was like, oh, I'll just use them in here, and now obviously I've got a Furbinichi, so I'll do use them in that. But I like the way that this has worked out, and it was fun to make. This is my favourite page in the journal. Um, it says find joy in the ordinary and I've just put this and I've put some stickers of constellations and then wrote some words there and this is some um, brown paper and some more stickers and I just think it looks really really good and these are some pictures that I did when I got obsessed with watching a YouTube channel and I can't remember what her name is I know she doesn't post anymore so that's really really sad but she did these crazy like characters and I thought they were quite fun so I tried to replicate them um, and that's what I did there so this is a really big work in progress I only ever really do my art journal if I'm in the mood to like draw or if I'm in the mood to collage or something like that that's when I will um, I'll do those so yeah basically that's 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 my collection of, of journals. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It is nearly 40 minutes, so it's a bit longer than I was anticipating. Um, but all the all of journals, all of videos I've watched about blank journals have all been about this long. So it must just be a blank journal thing. I, I don't know. So if you want any of these that I've mentioned to you in the journal, in the journal oh my god it's definitely time for me to go and um, if you want any of these that i've mentioned here in this video then just let me know send me a message over on um on instagram or facebook whichever you've got me on and i will more than happy have a chat with you about it so i hope this is what you expected from this video let me know if you like the new setup thank you if you've stayed with me till the end because I know this has been a long one um, and thanks for sticking with me when I'm really tired from work as well <laughs> um, but yeah take a look at my other videos subscribe check me out on Instagram and do all that good stuff like this video and obviously leave me a comment I get back to all my comments sooner or later if I've not replied to you yet then I will very shortly <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this thank you so much you take care bye